Hi, this is Carl. Welcome to the June news for the Small Biz Thoughts technology community. June, which means when, Ju when June is over, when this month is over, it will be halfway through the year. How are you doing in your business? You know, if you have a limited budget, you need to seriously consider what can you do that will actually make a difference in your business. And many people have sort of this eh, kind of a budget. They got like some willingness to spend a certain amount of money to make their business better. And there are an unlimited number of programs that you can engage in that will take your money in the hopes that you do something. And most of them are very expensive and they have one thing in common. They require you to put in enough effort to really make a difference. Ultimately, I believe, and I said this just the other day on our community meeting, if you can only change one thing at a time, you need to be very careful about over engaging in these programs. If you buy something and set it on a shelf and never do anything, and then check the box and say, I tried that, it didn't work. Uh, you haven't really been fair to that product, the service, or to yourself. With the Small Biz Thoughts technology community, we require a small little bit of money, but we also are designed specifically to help you pick one thing and go do it, and then pick another thing and go do it. And the thing I want to focus on at the end of this video is exactly geared towards that strategy. But first, let me give you the update for June. First Thursday of the month is June 2nd, and our roundtable is going to feature Jennifer Novak Landers on the Enneagram. Jennifer is the first person to appear twice on the roundtable, so this will be her second appearance. You can check through the roundtable and look for her information on life coaching and so forth that was on an earlier roundtable. This time we're going to talk about the Enneagram, which is a tool for helping to understand behavior. And we're going to talk about how you might use that in your business and your personal life. In general, Jennifer is always full of great information. And I, I call her a, a multiple times entrepreneur. I don't think she would describe herself as an entrepreneur, which I always think is a little bit funny because I know that she's done many, many things and, and had uh, success in many different kinds of businesses. So uh, I guess to me, that makes her an entrepreneur. Anyway, please join us for the round table. This is a members only event and always spectacular. So please be there. Next up, the next course, the live course that you have available to you as a community member is the course on project management. So my good friend, Dana Goulston and I wrote a book on project management for small business. And it's intended specifically to address the key issues that people have with project management, which is projects are not on time, not on budget, they never seem to end, they drag on forever, they're not well defined, and so we start doing one thing and end up doing another. We need to eliminate all of that. On top of that, we're also gonna show you how you can learn to quote projects so you're guaranteed that you've quoted it properly. And then we're gonna show you how to execute it with your PSA, whether you have a project module or not, and make sure that all of the time gets put where it's supposed to. So the next time you have a project like that, you can quote it appropriately and essentially guarantee that you're never going to lose money on a project again. You already know this, but we're going to tell you the specifics of how we think uh, you should manage a project in order to stay inside the scope and inside uh, the, the quoted amount of labor. There are some great tips and tricks here. Dana is a project management specialist and he is one of the authors of the PMBOK, the Project Management Body of Knowledge. So uh, for many years, uh, he was one of the people that had to approve every word 
that got entered into or changed in the PMBOK. And he's retired now, but the book is excellent and it's included with your class. So if you're a member of the Small Biz Thoughts technology community, you get this class at no additional charge. If you're not a member, the class is $2.99. It includes the book, so it's still a great deal. But, you know, if you're going to take three or four classes, it just makes sense to go ahead and join the community. All right, I promise we're going to talk about some special kinds of content that you should look for in the community. Today, I want to talk to you about the roadmaps. We have an entire thing on our top menu that says roadmaps. And if you look at the drop down, there's it starts with a roadmap for your clients. So this is an entire focus on your clients and how you should be using the roadmap process to improve your client relationships. And I have to say, as we might be getting into a recession or a downturn, now is the perfect time to focus on those client relationships and make sure that you are as successful as possible. The concept of having roadmaps in the community is that, for example, on employees, hiring employees, managing employees, training employees, onboarding employees, we have so much information some of it is in book chapters, some of it is in videos, some of it is in classes, some of it is in audio programs, right? Checklists and so forth. So what the roadmap does is it takes a topic and it says, okay, start here. Like these are the key things that you should start with to get the, the best step up on this topic and then, you know, find the rest of the stuff in the community. But it, it literally has links to checklists, book chapters, that sort of thing to help you get started. So I already talked about client roadmaps, hiring and employee roadmaps. We also have a roadmap for marketing. Like if, if you come to me and say, oh, Carl, uh, where do I get started in marketing? Well, I would point you to the roadmap where I've already basically answered that question. You know, watch this video, listen to this audio program, read this chapter, take this class, you know, tick, tick, tick. These are the things that help you get going. Remember, you get all the classes at IT Service Provider University at no additional charge, but we have lots and lots of one and three hour classes inside the community that you can't get anywhere else. We have entire classes on marketing that we do not offer to the public. They're only available inside the community. And you can go look for those classes and use the search tool. It's amazing, but another great place to start is inside that marketing roadmap that's linked right on the front page. The other thing is we have a couple, some roadmaps for the service department. So one generically for the service department, what is a service department? How do you run it appropriately? What's the best way to get started so forth? And then we have one for the service manager. So if you are a new or an existing service manager who would like a tune up, uh, this is a great place to get started with how you run a good service department. And of course, we're gonna always be coming up with more stuff, but go check out the roadmaps. It's a huge set of resources and it helps you begin to filter through all the information that you've already paid for. If you're a member, please make sure you join us at the round table. Also, third Thursday of the month, we have our regular meeting every Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern. We're going to be on Zoom and we meet every week. Sometimes we have special programs. Sometimes we just talk about whatever's on your mind. So please be sure to join us. Again, it's part of your membership. So we want to make sure you get as much value out of it as you can. And please join me for that project management class and for the round table. I think that's it for this month. I'll see you in the second half of the year. But for now, have a spectacular June. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Polichuk wishing you the best of luck in everything you do.